Hey everybody, welcome to this B1 English listening practice video. You can use this video to practice your listening and comprehension as I speak. Before we start, remember to download the Listening Time podcast. And if you want my specialized training to help you improve your listening skills, then become a member at patreon.com slash listening time. And if you become a Listening Time family member, then you'll receive my advanced podcast episodes, which will help you reach an advanced level of listening. Okay, today I'm going to talk about college dorms. This is a topic that a lot of people outside the U.S. find interesting because most people in other countries don't live in dorms when they're in college. So first of all, what are dorms? These are residential buildings located on university campuses where students can live. Another way that you can think about them is like apartment buildings for college students. People almost always live with roommates in these dorms, either sharing the common area or sharing a bedroom even. The size of dorm rooms varies, and you'll probably pay more for more space. So, which students usually live in these dorms? Well, first and second year students often prefer living in dorms rather than in apartments off campus. One of the main reasons why these students choose to live in the dorms is because it immediately connects them with other students and allows them to make friends. There's definitely a sense of community in each dorm building. So a lot of people feel like they'd be missing out on this if they lived off campus. However, not as many older students choose to live in the dorms. There are still definitely a lot of third and fourth year students living on campus, but a lot of them get tired of dorm life after a couple of years. Needless to say, there are some disadvantages of this dorm life. The main one is that you don't really have much privacy. A ton of first year students have to share a bedroom with another person, and sometimes it's two or three other people. And so you can also imagine what it would be like if you didn't like these roommates. You can get into all kinds of arguments because you're sharing such a small space with them. One other thing that could be considered a negative about living in the dorms is that a lot of these students only eat from the university dining hall. At universities, the dining hall is the place where you eat your meals, and it's buffet style, all you can eat. Sure, dining hall food can be good, but you can definitely get tired of eating this food every day, and a lot of first year students gain a lot of weight because of how much they eat at this dining hall. So lastly, let me just talk about my experience in the dorms. I lived in a dorm for my third and fourth year of college. The good thing was that I lived in a special dorm that was mostly for third and fourth year students. And in this dorm, I had my own bedroom, which was great. However, I didn't really like sharing the kitchen and living room with other people. It was a little uncomfortable. And also, I had some roommates that weren't very responsible and didn't clean up after themselves. So overall, it wasn't that great of an experience for me. All right, that's all for today. Remember to download my free Listening Time podcast and become a member at patreon.com slash listening time if you want my specialized training which will help you understand native speakers. And if you want to reach an advanced level of listening, then become a Listening Time family member and you'll receive my advanced podcast. Also, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell, and follow us on Instagram. I'll see you next time.